It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. All right, so I forgot that Ryo's bedtime is so early compared to the previous game. So this should give us a good jump to uh, tomorrow morning. Hopefully something good happens once we talk to those kids. And after whatever may occur, I'm going to call it a night. Because I actually have to, I'm going to try to push out the first part of the walkthrough um, tonight. And you know, I pretty much have, I think I have like, what, two, almost three hours of footage. So this is definitely a lot more than expected. But it's not a bad thing, of course. I'd rather, um, where the hell does Shenhua live? Now that I'm thinking about it. This is Marshall Hall. She definitely lives this way. Uh, but I'm going to have a lot of uh, footage. And what is this feel? That's gotta get. I mean, it's not gonna be that hard to get through it, but I definitely want to do that because it's a Monday night at work in the morning. There's nothing for me to do this way. Huh? Where the hell is? I actually don't know where Shinhua lives at all. Well, let's pick up whatever this is. Maybe she lives towards Languishan. I can't pronounce it properly. Hey, Shenhua. What is it, Liu? It gets really quiet at night, doesn't it? And pitch black once the sun sets. You shouldn't go out after dark. Good point. There aren't any street lights out here either. Everyone turns in early, too. Well, aside from Sunset Hill, it's always busy out there. Really? What's the attraction out there? The bars that open up at night. There are bars in the village? Sure are. That's where all the adults go to drink and talk. Loudly. Do you want to go see it for yourself? Hmm. Okay. I'll check it out. I'll go with you when you do. You will? All right. Say, Leo. Yeah? Tell me about where you were born. You want to know about Yokosuka? If that's where you were born, then yes. Yeah, I was born there. What's it like? Talking about Yokosuka reminds me of my friends. The people you told me about on the way here, right? Yeah, exactly. Let's see. There was Goro, the punk. Right. Tom, the hot dog vendor. Right again. You've got a good memory. And Harasaki, the photo lady. Huh? Photo lady? Oh, right. I showed you her photo. Yes, she's pretty. Yeah. I should say Harasaki, she meant Nozomi. Yeah, Zomi. you could say that. Nozomi, wow. Did you hear how I pronounced her name? <laughs> I just butchered Nozomi's name. I don't even know how or why. Alright, we're going to go to bed. I didn't expect her, uh, us to have a conversation with her. But you actually are supposed to have as many uh, conversations as you can with her because she grows like your your um, relationship with her becomes better essentially when you do her your affinity level i believe or something like that goes up something weird like that it got something to do with the uh, unreal engine itself here they are Mister, let's play. Yeah, play with us. Sorry, I'm pretty busy. Be busy later. Come on, play hide and seek with us. There's someone else I have to find right now. Play hide and seek, and we'll tell you anything you want. Can you tell me, have you seen any thugs around here? What do you mean? Have you seen anyone you don't know? John on his head. Really? I'll tell you more if you play with us. Deal. All right, we gotta find some goods. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay.
Not really hiding kid, but all right. <laughs> Here she is. There you are. Ah, you found me. Where are the others? I can't tell you that. That's cheating. Fair enough. Sorry. <laughs> Man, this game has such a good charm to it. Alright, so... We know the other two kids weren't hiding that well. I know the one girl is near like a ladder. Alright, there's the one kid. There you are. Darn, you found me. Where are the others? It'd be cheating if you didn't find them yourself. Fair enough. Sorry. There he is. There you are. <laughs> His smile is so creepy. You found me. Only one left. And we have no freaking clue where he is. I'm looking for a kid dressed in blue. Oh, he was just here, but I chased him off. Really? He ran around the back. If you catch that brat, smack him for me. It's partly my fault for not locking the door, but you can't just sneak into someone's home. I see. Just smack him for me. Wow. Hi there. Mm -hmm. Did some kids pass by here? Uh... <laughs> a red shirt? A blue shirt. Ah, oh, okay. A red skirt, you say? Um, excuse me. All right. Okay, I didn't expect him to go to a house, but I'm assuming this is where he is. Thought he would be in plain sight. Found you. Oh man, you found me. Now tell me about the thugs like you promised. I saw two strangers. They both went into this house. What'd they look like? One had a real smooth head with a spider drawn on it. Must be the same ones that hit Joe and Wong's houses. Go join the others, quickly. Okay, bye. What the hell were they doing? I might be able to find out more about the thugs here. All right, we gotta check every drawer, every cabinet. It's typically how it is on this game. Holy hell. Um, I really don't think this is where we need to be looking though. What's this? Maybe guess I'll hold on to it for now. <laughs> I knew it. What could this be? A magazine? It's a photo. I wonder who's in the photo. This might be a clue. Hmm. 
There we go. What's this? Some sort of name list? One of the thugs must have dropped it. This could be a clue. I should show the villagers what I found. They might be able to tell me more. All right, now, this is when I say goodnight to you guys. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining me on this Shimu 3 gameplay walkthrough so far. Really enjoying it. Uh, like I said, I need to get these. I think I'm going to do two parts. I need to edit them right now and get those posted. It's late. Again, I got to go to work in the morning, but I definitely had to get a couple of hours in. Can't believe we're again we're playing this after so many years. Uh, hope you guys are all enjoying it. Like I said, uh, definitely be on the lookout in the near future for all the parts, uh, and be sure to check out the other content as well on my channel. And I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm take my butt to bed after I get these parts done. But I hope you guys have a good day, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. This has been DJB. My mic cut out. Oh my god. <laughs> be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel as well.